Welcome guys, we're back with an Insta Live. It's Danny Glover. Persistence beats resistance. You know where it is. So today we are, you know, I think many people will know why right now why I'm going live. We're talking about the Chris Eubank Jr. Connor Ben fiasco going on right now. Let's see who's in the room. Kieran Lloyd, uh, Zach Boyle, 82, Johnny Hulk, 82, Sempa, shout out. Yeah, we're getting into the Connor Ben, Chris Eubank Jr. fiasco scenario, what's going on. They say the fight could be off. I'm here to break down what's happening, what I think the options are, if the fight does go ahead and how it can go ahead still. On Saturday night, Mikel D. Well, 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 turns out Eubank Senior isn't talking just for his own publicity. Well, yeah, you see, maybe he knows something. Maybe he could sense something. He's a man, as he keeps saying, he's not a PE teacher. He's a former participant. Semp yes, um, the, it, they're saying it's off via the British Boxing Board of Control. But I'm going to get into how that. You know, it doesn't necessarily mean the fight is off. It just means uh, it, it kind of is off right now. But that doesn't necessarily mean the fight won't happen on Saturday, on Saturday night. So let me just get the article up of um, what they're saying exactly is the uh, the problem. Yes, big up Darren Anthony and uh, ML. Emi Yasarami one, yep. So um, it says Connor Ben has tested positive for a banned substance. Um, let me get the exact name of this drug they're talking about, because you know I'm not I'm not a scientist like that. There's a um, but it's a hormone drug. Some say it could have been used as a masking agent. Shout out Adrian Bose and James S. 14. So, it's as reads. Du -du 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 -du. Ben tested positive for a voluntary drug test. Hold on. Oh, come on, these adverts, man. Stop it. For a voluntary banned substance called clomiphen. I don't know if some of um, my female viewers or athletes could, um, if they know about that, which is a female fertility drug that can also boost testosterone levels in men. Now, why would Connor Ben use something like that? Well, you have to take into account he's coming up two weight divisions. He wants to pack on size, muscle, naturally. He doesn't want to eat. KFC, um, what's his name, Nuzret Salt Bay Steak, burgers, because that's junk food, ain't it? You don't want to just pack on fat, do you? You want to pack on lean muscle, good size, um, eat clean, pack on, you know, hit the weights. But also, you know, in this day and age, you have a lot of sports scientists, um, fitness gurus, and all them kind of, you know, nutritionists and all these kind of guys around now, they add into the camp. Now, you don't know if one of them may have, you know, it might be a tainted sample in the lab. It could be one of the nutritionists or whatever gave him something which they didn't really read over properly. Or they could have hit the locker room and said, you know, this does this, but don't worry, they won't catch on. This does this or whatever. And he might go along with it. Not saying he would. He doesn't strike me as that type of person, but you don't know any. You don't really. Know, we don't really know, you know, in depth for fighters like that. So the, that that type of um, drug is not a shocking drug, where you'd be like, but why would he use that? It would make perfect sense. Why? Because he's coming up two weight divisions. He's coming up ten pounds. He wants to pack on lean muscle, and whilst he's packing on that size, remember in a long fight with someone who's big. Big, naturally bigger than you in Eubank Jr. 
you want to still have your explosiveness in the mid to late rounds you still want to have stamina in the mid to late rounds you don't want to just get tired because you've put on so much size now you're carrying around all this slog with you kind of like why Jarrell Miller was taking his stuff while um like 300 pounds 320 pounds he'd weigh in mad but then he'd have like the highest heavyweight output out of everybody because and then one of them one of the um one of the things he tested positive for was a was something that you can use for sexual performance as well he was saying oh he used it because he was having tr trouble getting it up or whatever he was trying to go down that road um but we know he's just like come on Jarrell you you you're prolific so it says um it can boost testosterone levels in men but has since passed UCAD tests however the British Boxing Board of Control have declared that they won't sanction the fight so they won't sanction the fight Matrim is appealing so Matrim is appealing Matrim's appealing at the moment but if we go back to why you know if I use some of my master aficionado senses how the fight can still go ahead is thankfully Cali Sauerlin like that is called upon his great friend in Cali Sauerlin and say hey mate the British board ain't playing ball what we're going to need to do you're going to need can you like get some fast track passes from like the, a German in a German sanctioning body governing body or can we get some of them Luxembourg licenses which David Hay and Derek Chisora used back in the day if you remember when they fought at um West Ham, West Ham um, football ground. Yeah, you know I'm saying. So, um, if you remember that, then they can do that. How many of you remember that? I was at the fight. What was what's that place called? What's the West Ham football ground called? It's the old football ground, by the way. But yeah, remember David Hay and Derek Chisora boxed under Luxembourg licenses as the British Boxing Board of Control suspended them both for that mad brawl you know where he said you glassed me and all that kind of madness uh, uh, coach boogie j boogie director swan there and j kevin upton park mackie d83 thank you very much upton park um if the master knowledge was on here you get the exact date it was but yeah upton park david hay Derek chisora didn't fight under the british boxing board of control legislation governing body they didn't sanction it because they were under suspension so they got luxembourg licenses the pair of them frank warren had the fight sanctioned under the luxembourg border control british border control said anyone who fights under that on the card they'll never get british boxing border control license again but they did so chris eubank jr and connor ben eddie Hearn needs to call upon his dear friend cali sowland and say listen I'll give you such and such and I'll look after you on future shows or whatever. Whatever he needs to say. Fast track some Luxembourg or German licenses for the pair and get a, you know the, the governing body to sanction his fight. Obviously they're going to get a nice cut. Because as we know money talks. Or as Eddie Hearn is doing he says he's working with a legal team. And they resolved this with um, the British Boxing Board of Control. Maybe you know a nice, a nice big chunky envelope gets handed in and um, the British Boxing Board of Control say you know we'll allow you this once or whatever and keep investigating but if it turns out you know the B sample is tainted you're going to be in a lot of a lot of SHIT uh, Mackie D says well oh yes big up Xavier Miller uh, shout outs Billy Henty come on my old gymnasium mate fight will be on 100% exactly well 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 turns out Eubank Senior wasn't just running his mouth for his own publicity yeah he has uh, major concerns um, I didn't like the way they tried to put out he's been in a mental facility or whatever that that was due to him recovering from his son Sebastian's passing that wasn't to do with um Chris, his son Eubank Junior fighting Conor Ben so it's a bit, I don't like the way the media tried to spin that, like he's losing his mind because of the fight. It wasn't because of that. It was it was help for um, the passing of his son. Um, shout out Kev J. Cannon. 
follow Fight Fan TV Live, always bringing good. Thank you very much, Xavier. Hope all's well and um, the gym's going well. I have a ring IQ up in Neesden. Anyone who's looking to send their children or yourselves, get down, do something, get fit, or want to want to box, amateur or pro, make sure you head up there. Uh, sure, I gave you a battery for that beeping alarm. Yeah, we're sorting that. We're um, yeah, we're sorting that out. Fits fits bacon. Fits yeah. Um, so yeah, how many of you? What what do you guys think about the fight? Uh, the chances of it going ahead. What's the percentage wise you think it's going to go ahead? Do you agree with what I said about the potential options of how they can get this fight to go ahead still on Saturday, even if the British Boxer Border Control don't want to sanction the fight? Um, anymore anyone yes big up Kevin J Cannon anyone want to come on live and discuss their thoughts on what's happened today or what we found out today um, in Connor Ben testing positive for clomiphene clom cl chromophene what was it what was the thing called clomiphene clomiphene which is a Fem known more as a female fertility drug um, but boosts testosterone in men um, Sempa 60% going ahead Wonderlust events Aubrey Williams shout out yes coach to Professor Miller yeah director Swan Nair says if Eddie can find another board it to okay it like Jezora Hayden goes ahead yeah exactly Darren Anthony, things like PEDS don't just magically turn up in the body. Yeah, and it, it, it's, it's just, it just seems too convenient that it's this type, It'll boost testosterone levels. Now, when you're pumping iron to put on size, people would normally, when you are coming up in weight or putting on weight, you would use things that would, it's not like he's got caught with um, a fat burner ped or a fat stripper ped if he was coming down if it was eubank jr you got caught with a fat burner then it'd be like then everyone be like well it's a bit obvious why that we would find that wouldn't we because he's trying to come down an extra three pounds he hasn't had to do before if he, if he got found with if eubank jr got found with a testosterone booster you'd think that's a bit strange um you'd find that a bit strange same way if kind of been got found with a, a fat burner in him on him you'd think that's 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 that doesn't make sense the man's coming up why would he want to burn fat that don't make no sense really unless he's trying to lean out but pack on but it still would make putting on weight a lot like harder so it just wouldn't but this is like boosting testosterone levels while you're coming up in weight so it's just a bit concerning that it does coincide with what he's actually doing coming up 10 pounds when his last fight wasn't that long ago against Chris Van Herden and he weighed in 146, 147 for the fight even though it's 147 you know sometimes a boxer will weigh in a pound or half a pound underneath do you know what I mean and then all of a sudden now he's having to come up to 157 come up 10 pounds and he's and they're saying they they've found a testosterone booster which will help if you are coming up in size help you stay stay sharp st keep your stamina up keep your strength up still keep your explosiveness not fading in the late part of the fight because when you do put on weight you've got a, you're carrying around a slog in it you're carrying around a lot of mass you're carrying a lot of muscle so lactic acid will will build will build up but if you've got a testosterone booster that lactic acid ain't really going to kick in too tough in the mid to late rounds when he would suspect Eubank Jr. might start fading after not being able to rehydrate as 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 um as sufficiently as he might have wanted to. Also, it just you know even if they get another sanctioning governing body, i.e. Luxembourg or German governing body, I don't I forgot what their one's called. But um, even if the fight goes ahead, it, what does it do for the reputation of Conor Ben, the brand, you know, crushing it in the gym? Because um, if he wins, you're going to say, well, 
everyone's going to say, well, he cheated. Or if there's a, even if the B sample comes back clean, there's always going to be an element of doubt. And then if Chris Eubank Jr. wins, Connor Benz, it's like, it just looks bad because they'll say 60% versus a man, 110% potentially. This, this is what the public, you know, you know how the internet works. They'll be saying stuff like that. I've seen I've seen little little jokes already. Um, things like trend hard, eat clean, and have a have another. Ah, oh, some madness. I saw one brother. Um, Brian James. He had some little wisecracks um, for it already. Uh, you know how the internet runs rife. Uh, Terry fit buddy. Well, terror. Hopefuls well. If Eubanks suffered a devastating injury, boxing will be finished because they allowed this to go ahead. It won't be finished, but it it won't it won't look good. Um, very rarely am I oh Xavier Miller. Very rarely am I shocked with boxing, but this was the last thing I expected. I like both fighters. I just hope this was a blip. A blip. Mm. Xavier Miller. Yes, big up Pesta John Hardin. BJ, I don't know who BJ is. Uh, shout out Bravo UK. Um, who's this? Aussie. Oh, Aussie. Shout out Oz, Aussie Osborne. If the traces were supposedly found in August, why has it only come out now? Yeah, that's that. That, that, that don't make no sense either. August, September, October. Yeah, like two months ago. That's a bit strange. Um, Yes, my physio Croydon has it going, man. Xavier Miller, hold on. Xavier Miller, big up on oh, Asparas. Okay, Darren Anthony. Also, a test booster helps to kickstart your test levels after a steroid cycle. Steroid cycles temporarily stop your natural test production. Elaborate on that for me, please. I'm not really too familiar with that stuff. Um, Aussie is called Brown Envelopes, mate. Yeah, who knows? Yes, yeah, shout out Chris Jenkins online as well. But yeah, if anyone wants to come on live and chop it up, discuss what they feel, what they believe, what they may know, then um, let us know. All 3206F shout out as well. But yeah. What I think, I think Eddie's going to be on the phone to Cal. Well, Eddie and Cali's going to be on the phone together. And they're going to be, Cali's going to be on the phone to a Luxembourg um, organization, governing body, sanctioning body, whatever it's called, and um, try and get them a fast track licenses for Saturday. We know money talks. You, you push a good, um, you push a nice, you push a nice bag envelope in this current climate. They'll sanction that fight. Luxembourg will sanction that. The German um, association will sanction that. Um, so they can use that avenue. If the British Boxing Board and British Boxing Board, you know, they do like money. Sure, I'm, I'm surely they they wouldn't want to miss out the bag, but they do have to cover their back for integrity purposes, isn't it? They don't want quote unquote blood on their hands if something was to go wrong and there was something nefarious going on. Uh, Darren Anthony, basically, if you've been on roids and you're coming off them, you need to do something to get your natural test production working again. Okay, okay, so you're saying when they come off a cycle, they need something to balance them and come back um, to normal, like recovery, hence a test booster, okay. If you, if you don't, your levels will remain low. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's like, yeah, I can kind of get what you mean. It's like, for instance, in my situation, for those who are heavy, <laughs> if you lose a lot of weight, if you don't curb your diet, you can be eating the same as you was prior to you hitting the gym and losing the weight. But then when you put the weight on, you'll go, you end up heavier than you was before. And you're like, hold on a minute. Now I've got to lose more again. And I'm talking about just fat food like, or just hard food really because I don't even eat I don't eat sweets and stuff like that but my stuff is more you know you know rice and peas yam banana dumpling heavy stuff in it starchy stuff so that, that that's what that's what 
kind of mashes me up. Um, Terry, they said a drug found in Ben system is what you use to cover up that you've been on something else. Yeah, they said that. I've heard that. I've heard they say that. Them say that. Darren Antley. Loads of guys I've trained with educate me on this stuff. Yeah, and I, I can imagine you, 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 you're you in the gym. I mean, we used to be mad hench before. I mean, when I first met you, I didn't like you. <laughs> Maybe you stopped me in um, Wayne Alexander. I was trying to go to the back to see someone. He's blocking us. And I was thinking, this bread our job's worth. But then we come friends on a job and the rest was history. But yeah, I remember you was mad wham when you was working for, um, what's it, Man, Man Commercial and Frank Warren Times. Yeah, man. Astro's Machine, shout out. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about Connor Ben, Chris Eubank Jr. Um, they're saying the British Boxing Board are control saying the fight's off. And I'm just telling, I'm just giving the people my opinion on what I think. Yeah, obviously, Darren, like, this was before I was in the industry myself. So I was just, I was just like an outsider in it. So obviously now I'm in the industry. I know you're doing your job. You're at your post. you you got your earpiece in. They tell you this is what you got to do make sure nobody passes this point so yeah you're doing your thing but at the time when I was on the other side and I wasn't um, qualified in security I was just you know people don't understand in it so I didn't understand at the time so that's why I had that opinion but um, official Julio Chavez they should let Eubank box at 160 because of the drug use no what I think Eubank could do to leverage this is say, well, because of this, just to, you know, because a bit of doubt in my mind, in his mind, we need to waiver that rehydration clause. He could either say he wants this, he wants to weigh in at 159, 158. I doubt you want to say 160 because he'll always want to use that I'm not 100% thing. But he could, yeah, because he could run it up to like, oh, 80% now. But he, he could definitely use this to leverage and say the, that rehydration clause is getting waved off now. So I'll come in at 158 or 157 because maybe because he looked he looked kind of on weight today, you know. He, he looked like he was light. I think he was probably like one, 160 at that public workout today. So he can say, yeah, no rehydration clause now. I'm weighing in after the weigh-in. I weigh in one five seven. After that, it's free reign because now you, you you can't make me not rehydrate properly. And then there's this you know there's this cloud looming over. So a few things could happen now. Eddie and Kelly. Kelly can use his German connections, get the German governing body Luxembourg licenses fast tracked. Chris Eubank Jr. because he's saying I'm ready I'm ready to fight he says that he hasn't spoken on the phone to Conor Ben because Conor Ben came on first to a public workout he said that he spoke to Eubank Jr. on the phone he said Eubank Jr. believes in him believes him and says he's fine to fight and all that and there's all that kind of stuff when Eubank Jr. came in later on he said they haven't spoken on the phone he hasn't spoken him to him on the phone since like sort of like when the fights was first announced or whatever like that so maybe his team has spoken to his team and whatnot, but he says they've never spoken on the phone. So Eubank Jr., he could use this as leverage to waive that rehydration clause because that was that's his main concern, ain't it? I don't think it's actually making one five seven because he's a very lean guy. He's not he doesn't he's not doesn't walk around as a big guy. He walks around with a, he's like my friend Hollywood Josh. They walk around with six packs anyway. No matter what they're eating. Harry Bowles, KFC, Morley's, you know. Um, Blue Jays, you name it, they'll just walk around. They've got that physique in it, like his dad, um, like Eubank Senior. The man, the man, you see him at his right page. He's still ripped and stuff. So, but the rehydration thing is going to be his concern, and probably the father's main concern is the rehydration. So, if they can now use that to their advantage, and say, well, we'll, we'll come in one five seven, but the rehydration, that's got to get, that's got to get whack, whacked off, brother. For the fight to go ahead because they they both don't want to this is a you know seven figure payday do you know what i mean or eight figure payday so both of them don't want to lose that bag but 
hold on. I've got some yeah, so he's gonna have to he's gonna have to move that goalpost a little bit. Well he should anyway. That's what that's what I would do if I was him. Uh do 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 all love Giaga. Ash Jones with no rehydration cause yet. He should take the rehydration off. Official hula. Do you think the phone call was made to Eubank? I don't know. I don't think Eubank would answer his phone if he saw Connor Ben ringing him. Not especially not that early in the morning. Because he would probably leave it, let it ring out as a missed call, and say, "Why is this man trying to ring me for?" Because he he's going. You know, through the press conferences this week now, while this fight is looming. They're still going to do press conferences, I imagine, and you know Eubank's going to have enough material, especially as he's saying, "I've with I've what's it we've held from sex for a couple of weeks now." Da, 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 da. It seems, you know, you're trying to get yours up to you know have a baby. I don't know. I just can just imagine the type of material he's going to be coming out with. The press conferences is going to be wild now. He's going to have punchlines. Excuse the pun. Um. Callie said they spoke as well before Eubank said that. But who spoke? Maybe Connor called Callie. Maybe Eddie called Callie. Doesn't mean Eubank Jr. was necessarily on the phone. Could be his representative. Could be uh, his cousin Harlem. Could be one of his other brothers. Uh, Coach Boogie definitely spoke on the phone. Well, Connor's going to have to prove that. But is it really semantics? Did they speak? Didn't they speak? Eubank saying he didn't. Darren Anthony, even with the rehydration, it may still not even things out. But it's never going to be even. But it's not even that Connor comes up £10 in general. So that's the whole thing of why he's saying that. But the rehydration is the main concern. If Eubank was to just normally come down 157 and just rehydrate how he wants and Connor comes up £10, it kind of makes things even. Uh, rehydration... Evenings that all the advantages in strength, stamina, speed, etc. that Connor will Connor's got will still remain. Yeah, with if if it does turn out that he he, he is really tainted and he has really used his stuff properly, then yeah. Then the rehydration. But it will help Eubank a bit. Do you know what I mean? It will help him a bit. But if he doesn't get no rehydration still, well that rubbish rehydration. And he's and Connor's, you know, has nefariously, you know, cheated. Then that is really bad. But then even if Connor wins, that'll just everyone will never they'll never rate him for that performance, and it will just damage the whole brand. Really, unfortunately. Um, official Julio Cervez, I've got Eubank on this one. Shout out Chris Palmer, twenty four. Um, so yeah, they're gonna have to look into that rehydration clause and they're going to have to look into the Luxembourg governing body commission for some fast track licenses you know remember you can get a passport a British passport in on the day if you sit in there long enough if you sit in there all day and obviously pay the right price you know pay the right price and and um, sit in there all day you can get on the day so I'm sure they can get some licenses on the day they can get some licenses tomorrow if they need be. So they'll probably have them on standby them. Them Luxembourg and German. German licenses. Director Swan. I find it interesting how Connor said that he spoke to Chris and Chris denied it instantly. Could it be mind games from Chris Jr.? Of course it's probably mind games. Maybe he did speak to him. Maybe he got someone else to talk on the phone to Connor. And maybe Eubank was in the background. So that's what he may have. So Eubank could say that. I didn't I didn't get on the phone. I was in the background. I heard someone speaking. But I'm not getting involved in the politics. Because that's what he said. I'm not getting involved in the politics. Darren Anthony. Apparently the side effects and advantages of PEDS can last years after you come off. Sure. You'll lose size, strength and the biology will still remain enhanced. Yeah. But. You can't really ban a man. F well, you can, but sports people don't. Not well, boxing don't anyway. Boxing don't ban people for years. Um, they give you like a six month ban, a twelve month ban on average, sometimes a three month ban. Um, I remember some fighters who was cooperating got some very lenient ban. So I remember when the Jack Three D scan, well, the Jack Three D thing, the old Jack Three D. Uh, 
ingredients they got put on the ban list Enzo Macrinelli got caught first no or was or off Ola, uh, Ola Afalabi no not Ola Afalabi Larry Olabamuo the war machine he um he got caught with a madness but I heard he was working with them with the working and grassing up people who he says he knows is using banned substances as well Enzo Macronelli got caught with Jack 3D but Jack 3D was normal before but he just recently got put on so he got banned but his was like a three month or six month ban someone else got nabbed six month ban Dillian White got caught with the Jack same Jacks the same Jack 3D that man got caught with but then they gave him like what was it like two or three years three year ban I was like that's a bit excessive bruv you're giving the other they, these other men like six month bans and I swear Larry Olabamuo didn't even get as long as Dini White and he Larry Olabamuo was using some um, some Mexican roids like he was using some and, um, and this weren't no um this weren't no Mexican beef. This was some stuff he was getting, some proper stuff over the border. Um, I don't know if some of you remember that. Director Swan got about as much love. Fight fan TV live. Fingers crossed we can get see the fight. I think we will see the fight. I think the fight's too big. The fight's too close. But they're gonna have to work fast and get some licenses from licenses from another country, and they're gonna have to move a few things around i.e. rehydration clause, maybe waning clause, maybe slap him some extra money on his purse. I'm sure the Eubanks will talk about I want I want oh yeah. I want more money. I want more and give me give me an extra little bag for that for this for me to keep um saying I want to fight. And you know, if Eubank was worried or scared, he could have said um he could have he could have he could have exited the fight, he could have said, No, I'm not going into this fight, had his reasons, this and that, and no one would have said, Oh yeah, you're a you're a chicken or you're ducking. He could have he could have he could have checked out, but he didn't. He said he's still on going ahead. Head hot for black woman. What's this? Board leader. What's all it uh, okay. Yeah. Shout out everyone coming inside. Um so yeah man we're gonna see um how this unfolds and um yeah stay tuned also be sure to look out for the next installment of the neutral corner uh we'll be filming that on sunday most likely hopefully the fight goes on if it doesn't then eh. it's gonna be a bit sticky but shout out father figure yeah so i'll update you quickly so with this Conor Ben situation, the clomiphene is a female fertility drug that they said can boost men's testosterone levels. Now with Conor Ben coming up in weight, one may not be the most surprised if someone was to have used it for nefarious purposes on packing on muscle whilst keeping their stamina, endurance and strength up, build packing on size and stuff like that. The British Board of Control said they're not sanctioning the fight. What their options are is the Cali Sauron can use his connections in Germany or Luxembourg to grant them some fast track licenses. And um, then that way the fight can still go ahead via a different sanctioning body. Because as we, if you remember in the past, David Haight and Derek Chisora, they got banned by the British Boxing Board of Control for their ruckus um, back in... Uh, I forgot. Uh, I forgot what. I think it was in Germany. It was after the Derek Chisora versus Vitali Klitschko fight, and they had to fight under Luxembourg licenses at Upton Park. I was there live from the Frank Warren Bill. So you can fight in Britain under a different country's sanctioning body licenses. Uh, shout out IFMA Muay Thai. So that is an option. Also, Chris Eubank Jr. can use this as leverage to demand more money. He can also demand that the rehydration clause gets wavered or his weighing thing gets upped. But I doubt he'll, I doubt, I'm sure he'll want to come in 157 still. He looked about 160 today, but he can use that and say waver the one, the, the rehydration clause since, you know, there's some cloud over this. 
what does it do for the brand what does it do for the fight how are the public feeling we're going to keep updated i might even do another live on friday as we find out more what goes on i'm sure the press conference is going to be very lively enough material used you know it's going to be enough um one-liners and punchlines and wisecracks said i imagine from eubank uh, Connor Bins definitely he's going to be suffering some kind of mental effects from this because yeah people are going to say Eubank must be in his head he's talking about 60% and you know if you if he is to be of used in this in a in a wrong way in a contaminated way and guilty then it's like you're you, people will feel that you're you need to be 110% to fight a man who's claiming he's 60% you know so then it will show it will it will cause doubt over one's opinion on mental strength um and things like that shout out nathan mathurin shout out glamour p glamour pez 82 so um yeah i think we can leave it there and i'll try and keep you like updated if you you know stay stay watching my stories I might do a couple of posts on the timeline, but mainly stories because that's quite easier to get through to you guys and drip feed any information I get uh, from my sources as I'm the master aficionado. But shout out everybody. And it's Danny Glover from Fight Fan TV Live. And remember, persistence beats resistance. You know what it is. Take care, guys.